Hello guys, and welcome to my very special 1,000 subscribers Q&A video, which I am filming on camera, as you guys can see here. I thought, you know, I wanted to do something super special for you guys, as y'all know, and I thought, you know, why not do it on camera and kind of surprise you guys with this, because <laughs> I'm sure at least some of you guys are at least a little curious about the face behind my sims, maybe not, well, I hope you enjoyed anyway. <laughs> so let's get right on into it. I've got my nice little list of uh, questions from you guys, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the very first question that you guys asked me was, what is your background slash nationality slash where are you from? So background or ethnicity, I'm assuming. Um, I am Asian American. Uh, my father is Vietnamese and my mother is fully American. My nationality, I am a U.S. citizen and I am from Georgia of the United States, but I have lived in several places around the country, so yes. Um, second question is, what made you start playing The Sims 3? I started playing The Sims 3 because it came out. <laughs> um, I was definitely a hardcore Sims 2 fan, so when The Sims 3 came out, I just, I jumped right on board. Yeah, so it wasn't really anything, you know, drawing me to it. You know, once it was announced, psh, I was sold. Uh, what is your favorite Sims 3 expansion pack? Hmm, <clears throat> my favorite expansion pack. I would probably honestly say that Island Paradise is my favorite expansion pack. I'm not really sure why, but I just truly, like, I love Island Paradise. Island Paradise just makes my whole day. The only thing that ruins it for me is the fact that Isla Paradiso is so glitchy. Like, I'm sure a lot of you guys have run into a similar problem where it just, it's awful. It's freaking impossible to play in because it's just so so glitchy. So that's that's the only kind of like downside to Island Paradise for me. But as far as like what it introduced, you know, with the mermaids and the water, going underwater and stuff, I mean, it was just revamped to the max. I love Island Paradise. Uh, what was your favorite thing about The Sims 2? <sighs> this is a kind of tough one because I honestly haven't played Sims 2 since I got Sims 3. As bad as that is, I know, even though I loved, loved, loved The Sims 2, um, I haven't played it. <laughs> um, but I will say, like, one of the things that really, like, bothers me that they got rid of in The Sims 3, that they had in The Sims 2, was that the babies, like, the newborn babies, were a lot more realistic in The Sims 2. Like, they actually, you could see their eye color, you could sort of see how their hair color was going to go. You know, like, they looked more real, real in the, like, the world of Sims. They looked more like Sims, whereas the babies in The Sims 3 are just kind of like little bags of pudding, practically. And I, I could, I would, I would take The Sims 2 babies any day, so definitely Sims 2 babies. Um, is Mai your real name, slash what is your real name? Mai is my real name. Um, I is my first name. K is my middle name. Um, yeah, so my is my real name. Will you ever show your face? Yes! <laughs> As you can see. Um, I was definitely planning to put a picture up at some point. It was just a matter of like, I was literally just waiting for you guys to start asking for it before I did it. And then it just so happened that you started asking for it about the same time that I hit 1,000 subscribers. So I thought, Hmm, why not be super sneaky about it and kind of surprise them, so. That's why this is happening. Would you make vlogs? Um, I would love to make vlogs because vlogs are actually one of my favorite things to watch on YouTube. I really thoroughly enjoy vlogs. Um, the only thing is, if I made vlogs, one, I don't have a really good camera. This is the best camera I have right now and the audio quality is eh. Video quality is eh. Um... Luckily I have a tripod for it so I can like sit it somewhere and actually do a decent video right now, but I really don't have the camera for it and there isn't enough interesting stuff going on in my life. Like literally, <laughs> I spend my days, you know, either playing video games at home or I'm working or I'm at school and doing some combination of the three, you know, like 
doing schoolwork or this or that and the other, so there's really not that much interesting going on in my life. If I did vlogs, it would be only on days when I have something interesting to do. Um, okay, so what do you want for Christmas? Well, as you guys know, Christmas has passed, but um, actually what I wanted for Christmas was definitely a new computer. And I got it! So that was actually my dad's gift to me. I got a brand new computer, um, much better than what I had before. Like what I was running before, running The Sims was a nightmare on that computer. So, <sighs> got a new computer. I'm super excited about it. The other thing I might want is like makeup. I'm a big makeup person. How old are you slash when is your birthday? I am 18 years old and my birthday is August 26th. Um, it's actually been pretty interesting to discover that I'm not, like, young in this community. Like, I I only recently got introduced to the Sims community, um, the Sims 3 YouTube community, rather. And uh, it was, I really thought iPod Zeke was the youngest. <laughs> and I'm still not exactly sure what his age is, but I'm assuming in the 16, 17 range. Um, but I definitely thought he was the youngest YouTuber because I knew Jen, and she's 24. Um, I knew um, some of the other YouTubers were like in the college range, so I was definitely like, oh, I'm totally going to be the baby of this group, but I'm, I'm not. <laughs> and I'm, I'm kind of shocked by that. How tall are you? I am 5'2". I'm teeny tiny. Itsy bitsy. <laughs> what is your least favorite thing about The Sims 3? I hate to kind of cop out and say glitches, but really it's just all the crap-tastic glitches. I mean, some of the glitches are freaking hilarious. Like, I just recently saw one in my Roaring Heights Let's Play where, um, you guys will see this. Actually, by the time this goes up, you will have seen it. Where um, Rose is strolling Nellie and like her arms are behind her back and it just doesn't make any kind of sense. But um, yeah, funny glitches like that. Make my day and that was my phone. That was Twitter. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's just glitches overall are my least favorite thing about The Sims 3. If I had to pick like a feature of The Sims 3 that I didn't like, probably the way The Sims like maneuver and walk around. There's such a... I mean, The Sims 3 has done a very good job at seeming very natural in many ways, but the way they walk and they move and the way they drive and get from play, point A to point B is very unnatural, very liney and, you know, ge geometrical is kind of what I'm, the word I'm looking for. And uh, that's very weird to me. I don't like it. Why did you start doing LPs? I started doing LPs because I started watching LPs. And, um... I was just, you know, I always had it in the back of my head that I kind of wanted to do YouTube videos, but I never had anything to do. I couldn't really make vlogs or anything like that, because who would be interested in vlogs from somebody that nobody knows about? Um, and I couldn't really, you know, I'm not a super creative person as far as, you know, drawing or making things, you know, arts and crafts, DIY type of stuff, so... Um, when I, when I discovered Sims 3 LPs, I got very excited and I was just like this this is for me this is what I need to do I love this are you going to purchase the Sims 4 slash will you film LPs for the Sims 4 yes absolutely I already pre-ordered the Sims 4 on Amazon actually don't ask me why I chose to pre-order it on Amazon instead of like through you know EA or Origins but I just I like having a hard copy and when I pre-ordered it it was a little bit cheaper on Amazon plus Amazon if you get the two-day shipping, guarantees you to have it on release day. Fingers crossed, I will have the game on release day, but definitely going to make LPs for The Sims 4. I will probably stop making LPs for The Sims 3 once I get The Sims 4. Um, I might continue on with some of them, but like, let's be real, guys. When The Sims 4 comes out, I'm going to be freaking obsessed, so. The likelihood that I'll keep doing Sims 3 LPs is... Slim, but it might happen. It might happen. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see when we get there. <laughs> uh, what would you like to see in The Sims 4 that's not in The Sims 3? The thing that I really like to see, which is something that's been in the back of my head throughout The Sims 3, and I'm really glad that they're starting to hone in on a little bit for The Sims 4, is a more dynamic sim. Like, I feel like with The Sims 3, the jump between The Sims 2 and The Sims 3 really focused on the world style. You know, it made it an open world concept. 
And um, that was very interesting, but I feel like that's really what The Sims 3 was kind of focusing on between the jump of The Sims 2 to The Sims 3, and I feel like The Sims 3 to The Sims 4 is going to be more of trying to create more dynamic Sims, like more personable, natural, you know, realistic, human-esque Sims, you know what I mean? That is really what I want to see in The Sims 4, and I'm, I don't know, you know, based on what we've seen so far, you know, I have no clue how good it's really going to be, like how on point it's really going to be with all that, but I'm really, really interested in seeing that, and I'm really, fingers crossed, hoping that they do a successful job of it, because I would love, you know, emotions behind The Sims. I mean, The Sims have emotions now, of course, but they're very... Um, they don't, they don't move smoothly, you know, human beings, the emotions are a fluid type of thing, you know, they're not a just, you know, this means this, you know, I think you guys might understand what the heck I'm trying to say here, but yes, more dynamic emotional sims is what I'm looking for in the sims for. Alright, what are you doing on Christmas? Well, what I did do for Christmas, actually, interestingly enough, I didn't spend a whole lot of time with my family, um, simply because for Christmas this year, none of our family was really here. Uh, just my stepmom's parents were here. My mom is coming down tomorrow, um, which is Saturday for me right now. You guys will have seen this, um, see this a few days after that, or maybe not. I'm not sure when I'm going to upload this, honestly. Um, <laughs> and then my stepmom's brother and, you know, the rest of her family is coming for New Year's. So for Christmas, we didn't really have a lot going on. We literally sat down and had lunch with my stepmom's parents. And then after that, I went to my friend's house, my very, very close friend, Shannon. We've been friends since we were teeny tiny. And she lives right up the street from me. And uh, her family was like, Ma, come over, come over, come over. So after lunch, I went over and it was amazing. It was so much fun. I had so much fun at her house. Her whole family was there. I brought over Dance Central 3 and she has an Xbox with Connect over there. And all of these people, middle-aged people and young people alike, were just playing Dance Central 3 and it was hilarious. It was totally worth it. I loved it. It was so much fun. How do you spend your days slash nights when not shooting videos? When I'm not making videos, I'm literally such a freaking like I want to say couch potato, but it's not even couch potato, it's computer chair potato. <laughs> because I'm literally on my computer 24-7. If I'm not working or doing school or making videos, I'm on my computer doing something, talking to you guys, or um, uh, playing other video games, because I do enjoy playing my video games. <laughs> um, I spend some time, you know, right now I've been spending a lot more time like with my friends and people who are close to me, um, with my family a lot more, but in general, like I'm, like I'm a homebody. I, I hate to admit it, but I'm, I'm not super, you know, out there or anything like that. I'm not a party girl by any means. And so that's, that's definitely my life. <laughs> Would you ever post your picture on your social networking sites? Absolutely. Um, just as I said, I was just kind of waiting until you guys started asking for it, and then you guys started asking for it once I hit 1K, so here you go. But definitely from here on out, I'll probably post a lot more pictures, because one thing I do enjoy doing is kind of taking pictures of funny things that go on during my day, and I would be happy to share those with you guys if y'all would be interested in seeing it, because they can be pretty funny. What is your least favorite expansion pack? Um, the one that I feel like did the absolute least for me was World Adventures. I feel like for builders and things like that, World Adventures opened up a lot of stuff. For me, World Adventures did nothing for me. I am just totally uninterested in World Adventures. And I was, I remember when it came out and I was just like, you know, I got it obviously because I'm obsessed with The Sims and I have to have every single expansion pack. But... When I, when I first saw it come out, I was like, this is the best we could come up with <laughs> for the first expansion pack off of The Sims 3. Like, I was really hoping for a Seasons long before Seasons came out. If you could add one feature to the game, 
what would it be? Oh my gosh. These questions, um, these questions are really tough for me because I'm really bad at thinking outside the box like that. But, um, really if I could add a feature to the game, it would always be more realistic sims. More, um, you know, of course we don't want to cross a line into it being too realistic because then it just becomes... It's hard to um, differentiate, you know, not that it's hard to differentiate between a game and reality, but like when it becomes too realistic, it becomes less fun, I suppose. You know, the, the kind of cartoony business with The Sims, I think, needs to kind of stay that way. But as far as like um, the reactions and things like that, right now they're pretty good at being realistic and all that good stuff, but um, I, would, I would always add a little bit more realism. I'm always pushing for a little more, but that's just me. What would be your favorite Sims family and why? Oh my gosh, this one is so hard because I truly, truly love all of my Sims families. Like, it's it's really tough because, <laughs> um, mm, I think right now I'm going to go ahead and say, you know, just so I don't cop out and say I love them all, I think I'll go ahead and say Avondale's. Right now, I love my Avondale family. Like, I've been with them for a while, and now we're going to college with Charlotte. And if you guys remember, we started off the LP with her as a little baby. And she's just, she is my, like, I feel like she's my own. Isn't that weird? Isn't it so weird, the personification we do to our Sims? But I do, like, I really feel like she's my baby. And to see her grow up and thrive and fall in love is just amazing. Definitely, I love my Avondales. I even, you know, of course I even love Greg and Charisse and um, Drew. You know, I love them all. But I think the Avondale family is, is my favorite right now. Um, as far as, like, most interesting, I think definitely my Hartwells are the most interesting family. But favorite, Avondales. How long have you been playing Sims? Okay, I've been, I don't know, like a year, because I can't remember how old I was when I started playing. But I know I started playing The Sims with The Sims busting out. I didn't really play The Sims 1 that much because I just, I guess I never found the game. I don't know. I don't know how that eluded me, but it did. Um, but The Sims busting out, my dad got for me on like the PlayStation, whatever was out at the time. I don't even remember if it was one or two. And I fell in love. And the moment The Sims 2 came out, he got it for me, and then I was hooked from The Sims 2 on. But I want to say that I was probably like eight years old because it was before I moved out of my house. So, it would have to be somewhere around 8, and I'm 18 now, so, like, at least 10 years or so. Um, what is a nickname only your family calls you? Stinkpot. <laughs> Isn't that weird? I know. Stinkpot slash stinker. Um, those are, that's my dad. Wholeheartedly, that's my dad. He calls me stinker or stinkpot. My mom calls me Mike Liebschkin. I don't know why. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea why. And then, you know, those are the nicknames that my parents call me a lot. And then beyond that, only my family and the people, my very, very, very close friends call me my K. Uh, most of the people across the board I know call me my, but my parents, my family, and my very close friends call me my K, which is K is my middle name, so. Would you consider doing games such as The Walking Dead, Minecraft, Happy Wheels, etc., or even The Sims 2 on your channel? Okay, this is actually a really good question that I kind of want to talk about because um, this has been asked of me a couple times, and I would actually be very interested in playing other kinds of games if you guys would be interested in seeing them. However, I absolutely do not want to start introducing games like The Walking Dead or one that I recently got, Left 4 Dead, you know, games like that that are very violent horror um, geared games on this channel uh, simply because I know that my demographics for this channel are fairly young and um, I don't want to force upon any of my younger viewers things they don't want to be seeing or their parents don't want them seeing so you know um, I would be totally interested in playing those games in fact I'm actually planning on starting a second channel to do other kinds of games so, um, I, I actually am wholeheartedly planning on doing that, doing things like Minecraft or Left 4 Dead or wa The Walking Dead or, you know, just anything other than Sims. Um, I definitely want to keep 
this channel wholly dedicated to The Sims. I mean, it's called My Sims, so it, it kind of makes sense, right? But um, I would be more than happy to do other kinds of games with you guys. I would love to do other kinds of games with you guys and kind of loosen up because Lord knows I have a potty mouth for days. <clears throat> but I definitely try to keep it as PG as I can on this channel. So, you know, if that is something you guys are interested in, definitely let me know because I would definitely be interested in making those kinds of videos, but absolutely on another channel so that at least that way, you know, I wouldn't be forcing forcing um, those kind of videos on any of you guys who don't want anything to do with it. And therefore, the people, um, uh, the people who do want to see those kinds of videos can go and watch them. And uh, but for even if I did do that, this channel would still be my main channel. Sims is the type of games that I like to do, so um, that's definitely this would still remain my main channel, and you would definitely not see the same consistency on that channel as you would on this one. Um, that one would probably be a lot more sporadic and a lot more random, but I would be, I would love to do it. It would be so much fun. Me and, um, Simply April, which was the lovely lady that I did, um, my collaboration create a with, we're actually talking about doing, like, Left for Dead, short, clippy videos of us playing Left for Dead 2 together on, um, on Steam, which is so much fun, you guys. Like, I've had a blast playing with her. It's hilarious. I would love to do some, you know, kind of funny videos like that with you guys, as well as Minecraft videos and whatever else you guys would like to see. Of course, I would, I would love to do that for you guys. So, playing other games, definitely something that could and probably will happen, just not on this channel. And when I do go live with that channel, I will let you guys know. I have technically already created it. It just has nothing on it, so I'm not going to tell you the name of it or anything like that just yet, because I don't want you guys to see it before it's, like, ready for you. <laughs> but yes, that's definitely something that's going to happen, definitely something that I would love to do. So leave me your suggestions as to what games you guys would like to see, because I would love, love to do that for you guys. <clears throat> but of course, I would do it on my computer, so try to suggest games that I could get on my computer, like through Steam and things like that. Um, alrighty guys, that is the end of the questions. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys aren't, uh, disappointed. <laughs> um, or not too shocked, I guess. Disappointed or shocked, either way, I don't know. <laughs> but, um, I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed doing this Q&A with you guys. I love talking to you guys. I have so much fun just kind of getting to take a moment to just kind of talk to you guys and, um, you know, share my opinions. This, this was a really fun video for me, um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are. Definitely kind of um, tell me what kind of games you guys would like to see on a second channel. And um, subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you guys in the next part of whatever I make. I love you guys so, so, so much, and um, thank you so much for a thousand subscribers. I've actually at like 1500 now so this is very late I'm sorry <clears throat> but <laughs> hopefully you guys forgive me um, but just thank you thank you so so much from the bottom of my heart for a thousand five hundred supporters supporters yes supporters that's a good uh, combination of the words there <laughs> thank you guys one more time and I will see y'all next time bye y'all <laughs>